Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today is my last day in Fenerbahce, my last day in Turkey before I fly back to the UK, to London Stansted, to go swim at Olympic trials. And so far, I was tempted to swim this morning, but I ultimately decided to have a lay-in. I woke up, had breakfast, I tried on my Mizunos again, still couldn't get them on, I'm getting quite concerned now. Uh, my takeaway would be that I haven't put on weight or size, but the 5 ST is smaller than the 5MR. It's definitely tighter, like this thing's ridiculous. The 5MR I failed once putting it on, then got it on the second time. You know, my, my, I can't even pinch it, and like my fingers are ripped. Oh, it's not, it's not looking good. I'm gonna try that ASIC swim jack thing. Probably not tomorrow, but Wednesday, uh, when in the holiday in, before I go and swim or whatever. And yeah, I'm just having a little walk now. I've got about 4K to walk. I want to go and try that Salt Bay Nazar Et restaurant before I go. Probably get a burger and a steak, depending on the prices of things. But uh, not a bad little 4K walk. Eat the burger, then go train. I guess I ought to put them on. I could have done with these gloves to put my suit on this morning. Also, this steak burger looks unreal. I can confirm the burger is good. It's literally just layers of steak. There's like seven layers of steak inside. Difficult to eat, but real good. Meal finished, very nice like the gloves, hands very clean. And now I think I'm gonna go and get on that scoop scoop. The scoop scoop there, there. Scoot scoot to ride home. Cause I don't really wanna walk all the way back. As much as I enjoyed the walk here by the coast. So I've got training this afternoon. And yeah, compressing, arena compression. I love the arena stuff. Arena shirt, arena jacket, arena compression. Arena compression on the legs as well. Arena make the coolest stuff. We're back in a uh, short course time. I had almost forgotten what it's like to swim in a small pool. We've done such a long course at the end of last week. But, small pool, me happy. Last time in this pool as well, which is literally, I don't even see ruining my fingertips. Like, chlorine is just burning away. Yeah. I like the pool, like the training, but just don't like the burning. Oh yeah, just put me in charge of the speaker today. Yeah, let's go. So, uh, uh, let's see what we got. John's delivered a nice short practice for us sprint lads this afternoon. We've got 800 choice warm up, 615s, swim down, 420s, swim down. And 225s. Can't wait. Still surprisingly decent for the first session of the week. Let's see how fast I go. Famous last words. Um, can we feel the burger a little bit in the belly? But, um, no, I'm pretty good at eating all the swimming. The last session is done with Fenerbahce. Four years out. 
good swim session on all of us today. Last time leaving the bubble pool. We're going through the little uh, bubble chamber lock. Thank you. Oh, good last session here in Fanabachi. And the weather is still nice. Still sunny, still blue sky. I'm back in the UK now and this whole trip is over, but I'm not gonna spoil anything. There's still a few more vlogs to come, don't you worry. But I'm signing out this one because I didn't sign out the last one. I can't keep not signing out videos. Um, that wouldn't be good, would it? So sign out this video, but I just want to really take some time to thank everyone at the Fenerbahce Swimming Club, the swimmers, the coaches, because they were very welcoming. I had a really good time. I had no real expectations for my time in Istanbul. It was sort of booked last minute as just a means to, to get home for a non-red list country during all this nonsense that's going on with uh, the, 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 the COVID pandemic and these stupid rules that these countries are putting into place. But... It turned out to be much better than that, and I, I wish it had longer. Um, Coach John, fantastic. Really enjoyed working with you. Very smart guy. Um, very, very clever, and his, his athletes are very lucky. Um, to the guys in the squad, thanks for letting me just jump in and get involved. Um, especially to Poyas for taking me around that first day, and Zuzu for showing me some local cuisine. Uh, I'm, unfortunately, I didn't get to say goodbye to her because she fell ill. Skived off training for the last day. Um, yep. And also, it was really cool to uh, see Craig at the beginning of my trip and uh, get to spend some time with Tom Rushton, the coach at Energy Standard, one of the coaches, along with James Gibson. Uh, he coaches Chad LeClough, Craig Orr, among others. Um, and again, he was a very smart guy. It was cool to work with him for that last session. You can see a little bit of him talking to me. But he was, he was, he was um, timing me and stuff like that. And we went out for, for dinner afterwards and I got to pick his brain. But again, another very smart guy. I was very, very fortunate to get to, um, get to yeah, meet and chat with him as well. So, um, yeah, I love my trip. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and do all the other algorithm things like comment. Um, comment your favourite ISL team. Do you like Energy Standard? If so, comment below. Let me know.